Hey everyone, it's Milo here with another Genshin Impact video. Yesterday I reached Adventure rank 50 and a lot of people requested in the comment section as well as my Discord group that I should make a short showcase about all of my current character builds. So this video will be just that. So let's start off with Chichi, which is probably the only character I'm happy with as of right now. All of the other characters I will make minor changes, but I will mention them as we check them out. So she's level 90 and she has the Aquila Favonia. I already ascended it to the final stage, but I ran out of Mystic Enhancement Ore, so I gotta make this one to level 90. Then I think she's okay. Let's have a look at the artifacts. Um, artifacts. Basically, I wanted to build her a little tanky, but full out attack because yeah, her heal scales with attack. So here we have HP of course and substat 19% um, attack and some more HP. More attack, more HP. Attack, a little bit tanky here. Of course she's really nice also as a tank if you don't trouble like in Abyss Floor 12 and you don't have like a nuke combo with Bennett, Mona or Sucrose and you know now you're gonna tank some damage so you can swap to Chichi and she just tanks all of it so that's nice then of course more attack more HP more defense yeah and same here so she ends up having 3300 plus attack 1300 defense almost so that's really a lot right with 20 2000 HP almost she can really tank a lot and she heals like crazy Constellation only one. And talents, yeah, I was a little bit lazy here with the talents. But yeah, she's super strong anyways. Now let's have a look at Dilok here with the talents. Yeah, because he's my main damage dealer, I upgraded most of them already quite high. He's on Constellation 1. He has the Wolf's Gravestone already on level 90. So that's where all my Mystic Enhancement ore got used up. And here I went for the Crimson Witch set. Um, yeah, here I was looking for Energy Recharge and Attack as substat. Energy Recharge and Crit Rate, especially the Crit Rate here is nice. Um, more Crit Rate, this is really, really a high roll for Crit Rate. And this one I probably will replace eventually with a Pyro Damage main stat. But yeah, it's a re really specific. You, you gotta have this one, exactly this piece in 5 star quality. And then it needs to have acceptable substats and the Pyro Damage main stat. It's rare to get this piece. So for now I run this one because building other characters is a higher priority right now. So this is the only piece that I will probably replace. Other than that, the look is pretty much also finished. And here, crit damage. So this puts him at 3400 attack almost. 20k, 22k life. 45% crit rate. And 112% crit damage. Next we have Xiangling, which is the support character in my team too. And yeah, support character for official. I used the prototype grudge. I wanted to have energy recharge. Recently I pulled this weapon, but man, I don't know if I want to level it up. Maybe I will use it for Zhongli when he comes out. Yeah. Artifacts, I just put some stuff together that has good main and substats. So here we have double attack on it. Energy recharge is important for um, support characters. Right? Also HP and attack. Crit rate. Crit rate here a lot. More crit rate and pyro damage. And yeah, this here the sub rolls uh, are not so great. That's why I didn't made it plus 20 yet. She has max constellation and the talents. I didn't really uh, yeah, care too much about her talents. 
Now my second um, main DPS for my second team is Fischl. Her talents are also quite high already, as you can see. Um, full constellation. Artifacts. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the artifacts as they are now. I, I was just taking those artifacts because they have great stats. Or at least the best ones I got so far. So crit rate, attack. Energy recharge. And also some survivability. So she doesn't get one hit. A lot of crit rate. Here this one is really a great piece. Like 21% attack and 14 crit damage is great. And here more attack and crit rate. Yeah, rolled a little bit too much on defense, but whatever. So here, maybe in the far, far, far future, maybe I'm replacing her set with an Electro set. I haven't decided yet. I'm using the Royal Bow because I wasn't lucky enough to get either Rust or any 5-star bow so far. And I will keep it at level 80 from now. Because maybe I, I pull a 5 star bow eventually, because from level 80 to level 90 is really a huge investment. It's like weeks and weeks of enhancement or farming. Yeah. So this puts her at 2600 plus attack, 51% crit, and 63% crit damage. Now, Beidou. So I built her as a support character usually for D look in the other Abyss floors. So and as a support character I wanted to give her a lot of energy recharge so gave her so I gave her the Skyward Pride so she has the ultimate ready a lot. And here I gave her some elemental mastery because when I play her together as a support with D look basically I swap her in when D look faces like elect uh, fire slimes. So in fire slimes um, yeah, her electro skills automatically deal overload, so then the elemental mastery really helps. And yeah, crit rate, a lot of crit damage, some attack on it. As I said, I want to have energy recharge for support characters, right? More energy recharge. Yeah, this one is okay, it's not great, but it's okay. And yeah, a little bit of everything here. So she has overall 167 energy recharge. So usually, uh, like when I use her as a in Abyss as a support for D look, she has like after using her ultimate, she has like 10 seconds, and then the ultimate is ready again. If I upgrade the weapon to to level 90, it will be even more. Um, Constellation, I wasn't lucky with Beidou pulls, so only Constellation 3. And Talents, I pretty much only leveled up this one, and a little bit this one. So now let's have a look at Barbara. So she's my second healer in Abyss. Uh, yeah, so far, but probably will be replaced soon. Constellation. This one is really nice. If a character dies, he automatically gets um, resurrected. So this is pretty nice. So here um, I went full on HP for her. As you can see, she has almost 40k life. And also some attack. And as a weapon I gave her this one, because yeah, I don't have another water character build. So yeah, she's usually also responsible for removing fire shields and also dealing damage sometimes. So let's have a look at the characters I'm currently working on. So Bennett is currently my top priority. Sadly, I only have him on Constellation 1. So this sucks a little bit and I will only use him for the ultimate so I only level up this one and I want to of course have him on the noblesse oblige build right and so basically you see all these crazy crit De uh, crit damage videos like Mona 1 million crit, D look 300 or 400k crit. Basically, most characters can do these crits. I would say 
Beidou would also be able to deal like 1 million crit, as sure as possible. But you have a pretty specific setup for this. You gotta have Sucros, you gotta have Bennett, and mostly, in most cases, also um, Mona, but most importantly, Bennett and Sucros. And yeah, this needs to be replaced. I wasn't able to find a 5 star one yet. I just started farming for him two days ago. And um, yeah, here this one is nice. We have a lot of HP sub rolls. So the only thing, as I said, the only thing I care is about HP and attack. Base attack. And here I want to have energy recharge, of course. Because I want him to have the ultimate ready as much as possible. And here, of course, HP, as I already mentioned. And here I'm going for healing bonus. So the, yeah. The heal is more effective. And then once he is completely finished, he will probably replace Barbara in Abyss Floor 12. So let's have a look at Sucros. So here you want to have, I want to build her on this set for the elemental um, res decrease. Really nice. And as a weapon, I gave her this one, of course. When switching characters, the new character taking the field has their attack increased by 42% for 10 seconds. This is only a 3 star weapon, but I think it's the best weapon for Sucrose. So that's what I'm currently working on right now. And yeah, the weapon for Bennett is the Favonius Sword because of energy recharge. Gotta upgrade it further though for the base attack. Probably gonna farm this one today. Anyways, let's have a look at Venti. Currently no artifacts. He will also get the same set like Sucros has. No constellation. Uh, yeah, I really don't use him much. Really don't use him much. Even Abyss Floor 12, I rarely use him. And then Mona. Yeah, Mona, I also need to build. Um, also has the Skyward Atlas, so I kept two copies of it. Didn't use it for imprint, kept two copies for of it. And she will get the same set like he has, the Noblesse Oblige. Mm, yeah. Constellation 1, talents, nothing yet. So, so I pulled her just recently, I pulled her maybe uh, one and a half week ago. Then we have Lisa, which I built at the beginning before I didn't have Fischl. I pulled Fischl relatively late, so I was using her before I had Fischl. Um, Constellation 1 only. Nowadays I don't use her anymore, now she's a, a mining character, so I send her to mining every day. Then we have Razor, full constellation as well. Just put the last two constellations, I think three or four days ago. Yeah. Kaya, yeah, Kaya. I only leveled him to level 40, so he doesn't die immediately when I remove the shields in Abyss Floor 12. He's usually my shield remover. Uh, on team one, it's Chichi, on the second team, it's him. So yeah, he is just a play. The, the artifacts are just placeholder, so I put them here so I don't accidentally use these artifacts as fodder for upgrading other artifacts. Constellation here, and yeah, Ember. Never, never used. <laughs> never used man. Constantly one of the characters that I sent on the expedition. I just wanted to level her because I wanted to have a Geo character, but then I heard about Zhongli, so probably now I'm waiting for Zhongli. Constellation 4. And let's have a look at Klee. Yeah, I never used her really. Only f leveled her to level 20 for the character showcase video. I like, I really like Klee, really cute character, but I already have uh, 
Diluc and Xiangling build, so I don't need a third fire character as of now. And then we have Ningguang. Only use her for her passive in a party. Like that you get displayed crystal chunks and ore on the minimap. So that's why I made her level 20. Other than that, I never use her. Yeah, he is also not leveled. Don't use him either. Jean, I just pulled three days ago, so that's why I didn't level her. If I would have pulled her earlier, I would have leveled Jean instead of Barbara. And one of the regrets I have as well, I pulled three of these and I used it for um, refining her weapon. Yeah, nah, now I would, it would be nice to have a second one. Would be really nice to have a second copy of it for her, but yeah, whatever. Then we have Chong Yun. Don't use him. And then we have Xing Xiao, which I also don't use. So that's pretty much it about all of the characters that I currently have and all of their builds. So as you can see, I still have a lot of work to do. Anyways, I hope this answered all of your questions. I hope this video was helpful to some of you. Thanks for watching. See ya.